Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some Skylanders projects from Toys for Bob Game Jam. Now before we get into this, I was really trying to avoid any misconceptions with the title or the thumbnail. But just in case anyone is still a little confused, this is not Skylanders 7 and has no relation to any Skylanders sequel or new game or anything. This is just some interesting information about some Scrap Skylanders Game Jam games I thought it'd be interesting to make a video about. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, I saw this unlisted video of Toys for Bob Game Jam of 2018 floating around the internet, but no one on the, uh, in the Skylander community was really talking about it, and I thought it'd just be interesting to cover. Anyway, for who doesn't know, every year Toys for Bob used to do a Game Jam. I don't really know if they still do one now. But basically, a game jam is a time when the devs have full creative freedom to make some small-scale projects they want for a week or two. And, you know, generally just a pretty cool time for creativity and all that. And, uh, apparently this time, Toys for Bob decided to make some Skylanders games. Obviously, small-scale, not, like, to the same budget as the mainline games. But either way, let's, let's take a look at this video and uh, see what there is to be happening, you know? So this week is Game Jam at Toys for Bob. We basically are making video games. So there's never a shortage of game ideas when you're- Also, um, if you just see right here, let me, let me up the quality. Anyway, obviously around the office you're probably going to see some Skylanders memorabilia, some Spyro memorabilia, some Crash stuff, because obviously this is this is uh, a dev studio that developed some of those games, so of course they're going to have some posters and whatnot hanging around. We don't love yet, you know, that still sucks, but as you can see we got some Skylanders here, obviously some... Obviously these aren't new Skylanders, there's just some senseis here, I think these are some minis. And these might be a few of uh, the 3D printed Imaginators, but you know, not necessarily notable, but still, still interesting. It's when you're surrounded by game developers. And, and then, yeah, we got this Imaginators poster in the background. Once again, not very crazy, but still. Gives everybody, you know, a chance to, you know. Do... Yeah, there's this Spire's Adventure poster here. I think I'm going to stop playing with it because... Obviously, these aren't necessarily notable. Work the creative juices a little bit. Make something they're proud of. It's a rare opportunity to really push people creative. Also, I don't really know what this little monitor in the background is here. I think it, there's a possibility it may have something to do with Skylanders. So you to really look at it again push for people creatively and let them test But, uh, yeah, they blurred out almost all the monitors. Obviously, there's a few of them they didn't get to. But even some of the, the board monitors, you might be able to make some inferences. Obviously, the biggest thing I want to have a conversation about is a little later on in the video. Stop some new skills. Hi, I'm Jan, and we thought we'd take this game jam as an opportunity to try and make an awesome mobile experience uh, and try to try to play. Also, back here, I think it says. Yeah, I think it's a Super Spyro Speedway. I, 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 oh, Sensation, yeah. Super Spyro Speedway Sensation. I'd probably assume if you look at the, the blurred gameplay here, where it, this the, the purple little dot is probably dying. Spyro running and then like respawned up on the thing. I'd assume that this is probably just like a pretty simple little Spyro mobile game. It, in fact, it might be kind of similar to the subway surfer genre of like the three lanes and you go between them to avoid obstacles and all that, you know. In fact, who knows? Obviously, this was in 2018. There's there's, there's always a possibility that this could have been the, the predecessor of uh, Crash Run, I think it was called. Who knows? <laughs> so we're here to explore our new ideas. Also, also. This, I, I noticed recently on one of my rewatches of this video. So we're here to explore Look at this in the background. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty, pretty Skylanders-y to me. You got the, the green grass, the, the brown little, like, 
bottom part of a floating island. I don't know, just kind of looks like Skylanders to me. But that might just be me, I'll let you. So we're, we're here to explore here. new ideas, but even more beyond that. It, because, yeah, that, that just kind of looks like Skylanders to me. But there's always the potential it could be something else, but kind of looks like Perilous Pastures type vibe that they got going on there. Also, obviously here, we can only see the tiny sliver of this screen, but I assume they're playing something crash related. That is to explore completely different jobs to get out of like things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, if you're a programmer, try to be an artist. If you're a designer, try to do audio. This kind of like gives you some sympathy for different people's workloads. Obviously, we got these Skylanders posters in the background. Also, quick little thing, I don't think this Trap Team poster is ever released, but it looks pretty sick, I gotta say. And then this monitor, it's pretty... The lighting's not necessarily great, but I I think it's probably... It looks kind of like a 2D crash level, one of those 2D side-scroller type crash levels. It's a completely different energy, you know? Because... And uh, here we get another tiny glimpse of the thing that I thought looked like a Skylanders level here. You just... Completely different energy, you know? Because... And, oh, oh, uh, that, that's something I to note it. Note. I just realized this while I was watching it now, but uh, if you look real closely in the last second of the clip, you can see like a little menu box pop up that looks like exactly like an completely different SSA energy. Menu yeah, because box type thing. Take a closer different look. Different energy, there. you know, because we're in production, we've got everything lined up. And Either way, yeah, that's that. Roles, and this it's is a beautiful chaos, I think. Also, I. Th I was thinking maybe this could be Skylanders, I'll let you see the clip in a second, but I don't know, just the movement, it kind of looks like maybe it could be an Imaginator, and they have a PS4 right here, so who knows. But a beautiful chaos, I think. I don't know, it's it really looks fun. like it could be an Imaginator out, like, in hey, Imaginator's platforming fun. or something. Gotta be something and then here, here's the big boy, the big hitter. Um, the thing that I was most excited to talk about, you get. I don't. I'm surprised they didn't not uh, blur this thing out because, as you can see, this doesn't actually say Skylanders, but I mean, use common sense. It's got the element things the exact same font. If if you take out the out, it's practically identical to the main Skylanders logo, and it's on both of these here, uh, here things. And I mean. Obviously, this was probably just a game jam game that was scrapped, and who knows, maybe it's just floating around on some Toys for Bob devs computer somewhere, but I don't know, this thing, it's crazy. Outlanders. I think it might have had a more space direction, Outlanders, Outer Space, and the, we got the whole title screen here. It looks like they reused a lot of assets from SSA, considering this font and all that just kind of looks SSA like you know but yeah this this is pretty cool obviously if you search up Outlanders Skylanders Outlanders right now it just shows up on the Skylanders fan wiki of some person's fan fiction but I mean this is pretty interesting piece of Skylanders history we don't know much about it but it's cool to see that you also got to think even on uh, Toys for Bob's Game Jam, when they had full creative control, it's very telling that they went back and decided to make more Skylander stuff, more Spyro stuff, more Crash stuff. It really shows you... Sorry about that Discord notification. But it really shows you that these people have passion for what they're doing. Now, obviously Activision is, uh, at least at the, the time of the Skylander games being released, was not exactly the nicest company and of course they forced them to do certain things they forced them to have a bunch of Skylanders to be sold for trap team probably with crazy prices but I think I really do think at the at the heart of the toys for Bob Deb team they really do have a sense of just uh, they they really put care into what they make I think and I mean you can just see that throughout all the Skylander games I mean, if the Skylander games weren't so good, I don't think any of us would be here. You wouldn't be here watching this content. 
I wouldn't be here making it. But still, I just think it's really telling. But yeah, here it is, Skylanders, Outlanders, possibly the only look we'll ever get. It's crazy to think, on some toys for Bob Dev's computer there might be a fully playable version of this. I don't know, you may never know. Anyway, let's just continue it's forward. There's gotta be something know. that's gonna make people say, I could totally have fun playing that. Also, side note, just some Skylanders memorabilia here, it looks like a chompy right here. Just a, just a, just a whole bunch of stuff. The main question I wanted to ask was, is putting four players in the same character fun? Also, random side note. Is it just me or does this look kind of like Prism Break, you know, and you see the, the glowing hands, I think I kind of see a little bit of like orangey red glow in the eyes, I don't know, but I think it's a possibility it could be Prism Break, but obviously it's very blurry, so who knows. Character fun, and it turns out, but yeah, it turns out it is a bit, it is quite fun. Anyway, yeah, that, that is the end of the video. Obviously, these are not actual leaks for any of this stuff. No spark. All this stuff was just fun stuff that the devs decided to do for Game Jam. One thing that is interesting that is that they decided to go through the length of editing this and filming it, even though, uh, even though, not, it's weird that this is, um, uh, Game Jam 2018, and they released it November 2nd of 2021 to be unlisted. Like, I just think it's odd. But that might just be me. But yeah, this is Toys for Bob Official, the exact same channel that uh, created the 10th anniversary live stream, the Sparrow's Kingdom live stream, all that good stuff. They don't have very many public videos, but you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little look at a bit of the Skylanders past. This video, this unlisted video, will be linked in the description if you want to watch it for yourself. And, uh, thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed taking a look back at this interesting little piece of Skylanders history that has just recently been discovered. And, uh, I know I don't ask this very much, but if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And, uh, see you on the flip side.